Hi everyone, how are you? It is B, and welcome to Psychic Sounds by B. Thank you so much for joining me. This reading is a random daily reading with B. That's why I lovingly call it RD with B. But there is a little bit of confusion here and I want to get something cleared up. I am doing mini monthlies, meaning that the RD with B, while everybody's listening to it, is going to apply to a specific sign that I draw from my um, container here. I've got all the signs here, as you can see. Now, what exactly does this mean? Okay, this is what I've seen happen. I have seen, even in my own life, even in my boyfriend's life, the RD with B for the mini monthly definitely applies. So for the people out there saying that they want me to bring the monthlies back, I am. It's in a different way. You're still getting the same messages, okay? It's just that everybody else is watching it with you, all right? So what happens energetically for me is that I'm doing the RD with B. It could be for anybody out there, any sign out there. And once I'm done, I see the energy that came out and I get energetically drawn to one of you. And that means that I am being even more energetically mm, sensitized, I guess you could say, to identify who the reading belongs to. Okay, so this is what I'm going to do. And I'm trying to make this very clear. Okay, in my mind, it's very clear, but some people continually... Um, seem to, to not understand what I'm saying, okay? And again, that could be my fault because I, I think a little bit differently than everybody else thinks. So what I'm going to do for the RD with B, I'm going to put April month or April 2021 monthly, then the sign that I draw for the mini monthly, but after that, I'll put RD with B. That way, all of you know that it is a monthly, but it's also being an RD with B. It's also an RD with B, okay? So I don't want to confuse people, all right? I want these signs, these specific signs, to watch these videos for their monthly. And the way that I look at this, and I, I thought it was rather interesting, the way that I look at this is... With my particular situation with my mini monthly and everybody else's mini monthly, I actually saw all of these energies manifesting. And had I not watched the RD with B, okay, I would have never known that there was going to be this, this was going to be this person's life at this point in time. I saw the mini monthly for two signs, two people that I knew. I saw their mini monthly with the RD with B, and I could not believe the accuracy. Okay, so just bear with me. This is how it's going to be done. Why am I doing it this way? I'm doing it this way because everybody should be able to pick up and identify who might be going through these energies. When you get an RD with B for you, it might be five days down the road. It might be tomorrow. It might be two days, and then it's done and it's over. But whichever sign I pick, that's the energy that they seem to be creating in their environment. So it's likely that when you come across this energy, if you're not the sign I pick, that means that for you, you were going to encounter that energy. It's just not as long lasting for you. Okay. I hope this is making sense. I'm trying to make sure everybody gets what they need to get. Okay, in order to get the energies. I've heard a lot of people really appreciate these. And other people like, I just want my monthly just for me. I can't do that. I'm sorry. I don't have time to do that. But for those of you that have appreciated this, you're seeing the value in putting that RD with B and that mini monthly. Okay, it just is what it is. And for my members, and I'm sorry, I don't mean to belabor a point. I just want to get clear on everything. And for my members, your um, monthly readings are coming up. You've got two months coming up. And you're going to be able to see uh, all those two months. I'm probably going to start posting those on Sunday. I'll probably do, or even Saturday, I'll probably do two a day. Okay, so I'll have them done in the next six days 
For my members, you're getting your big expanded reading for the next two months. All right. Okay. My nose itches. So let's go ahead and let's get started on the reading. Okay. This is the RD with B, but we will see after we're done with the RD who this reading belongs to. And you guys are going to know up front because it's going to be in the title. I don't know at the time, though. I probably do know at the time, but I'm just saying. Okay. I think everyone should be armed. And I know some of my, some of my members are like that. They'll listen to every sign just to be able to get the vibe. And I think everybody would benefit by listening to these general energies first, what they might be going through. And then once I get into the sign that I draw, if you want to listen to the rest, you can. But that energy is circulating around that particular sign. So to be prepared around people of that sign, okay, or that energy. All right. So I am doing this on the 11th. And this is going to be for the 12th or timeless. And it will be for the sign that I pick at the end here for the mini monthly. All right, let's see what we got going on here. Another couple shuffles, and then we'll put our energy into the deck. Who is going to own this reading? We'll find out soon enough. Go ahead and put your energies into the deck. Okay. Cutting the deck. The first card is the devil. Hmm. The second card is the high priestess. Wow. And the third card is the queen of wands. Very interesting, ladies and gentlemen. Very interesting. So here comes the devil. Sex, drugs, rock and roll, control, oppression, suppression, feeling like you're chained to something, whether it be work or a person. Thinking that someone is bat, she ought crazy. Okay. Someone telling you what to do, when to do it. Feeling like somebody wants control over you. This could also be a Capricorn and Aquarius. Or, I'm sorry, a Capricorn and Aries or a Taurus. Okay. And then we have the High Priestess. The High Priestess is... A Pisces or an Aquarius. Uh, this person's name could start with the letters B or J or their last name could start with the letters B or J or even their middle name. They're keeping quiet about something. This is someone who's very magnetic. They know things, but they're not revealing things. Psychic abilities here. Intuit intuitiveness. Something happening right before the full, uh, right before the new moon, or right after the new moon. The knower of all, but the teller of none. Something about nuns. That was a little bit weird. Okay, the next card is the Queen of Wands. This is an Aries, a Sag, a Leo, or a third decan Pisces. Generally feminine energy. Very intuitive, very much ready to move forward, trying to get things launched, trying to see their way ahead, creating new energy to assist people with areas that they may feel stuck in or areas that they feel, I just heard someone is possibly feeling um, ashamed of something. Something might be going on here regarding pets or a, a cat for sure, but just pets generally. Okay. So what is the story for tomorrow? Okay. The story for tomorrow is an awareness of being oppressed or suppressed at work, within a love relationship, possibly within your own thinking. Something is going on here relative to possibly someone uh, observing someone going to jail or being arrested. There is a level of mischievousness here too is what I'm picking up. 
And this could be things like people getting into S&M, sex games, stuff like that. And definitely some sort of devil energy. I'm really feeling devil energy, like the actual devil energy, like Satan. Okay. I'm not feeling good about this energy. And this could also be where someone is trying to control someone else's choices. All right. So these are payoffs. These are saying vote this way, not that way. Like if it's a school board or if it's some way or another, like someone's got somebody in their pocket is what I'm hearing. Someone may be going through a level of energy here where someone is bat, she ought crazy, okay? When I say that, what I mean by that is they keep people consumed and absorbed by their psychopathy, okay? They're psycho. This is a, a sociopath, okay? Now, this is a 15. It breaks down to a 6. So this is opposite the lover's card. This is lust. Okay? This is hot and steamy. S-E-X. Being chained to the physical. This is the Saturn energy. Feeling like everything is heavier. Feeling like everything is more real than it's ever been. Waking up from the illusion. So this six energy is all about the everyday. Your work, your duties, your reputation, your service to the world, dotting your I's, crossing your T's, maybe being a little bit too nitpicky. That Virgo energy. Being too much of a perfectionist, OCD. Someone might be going through an addiction or someone might be going through a situation of oppression, suppression, or control issues in their life, but they're not saying anything about it. They're not saying anything. I just heard someone's watching somebody. I'm getting stalker energy here. Um, someone is checking in on someone in a manner that they probably don't know they're being checked on. Okay. Again, we have Capricorn, Aries, Taurus, as well as Aquarius and Pisces here. Or someone with the name that begins with the letter B or J, last name, middle name. A secret. Keeping a sexual affair a secret. Not saying anything. This might be happening at work where someone knows that someone else is having an affair or is doing something underhanded, something that is wrong, maybe regarding materialism, deals under the table, negotiations, coercion, and someone's not saying anything about it because they don't want to get in trouble. I really feel someone here is just waiting long enough to get out of the situation. They're not saying anything because they are looking forward, but they're not saying anything right now. They're not moving right now. They're being very black and white, but they're not letting anybody know about their plans for the future. The high priestess energy is the energy, I mean, if you look at her, she is that energy of what do you want to know? And then you ask the question and she answers you with another question. She's very sphinx-like. This might be someone who's very serene looking. They don't have a lot of expression with their face. They just kind of stare. Okay. They're just watching. I keep hearing that watching, stalking, watching. Maybe somebody that you used to date or someone that someone used to date. Issues with control and possession. Now the thing that happened here was that maybe someone intuitively picked up that they were being used or they were being um, 
oppressed or suppressed in some way, shape, or form. They picked it up intuitively, and they knew that it was time for them to go. They had to look into their future. They had to say, I have to escape this, but how? In many cases, this person actually picked up what was going on. And because they picked up what was going on, they knew that their time at that location, in that place, with that person was done. Maybe there was something regarding a black cat associated with this person. Where every time you think of this person, you think of a black cat or you think of pets or something like that. But this woman is, is looking beyond and she's basically saying, not only am I going to move forward, I have an open canvas. I have all of the energy in my, in my being for me to create the new. Because I don't want to go back to the secrets, the lies, the sex, the drugs, the rock and roll. I've got to move forward from this. I don't want to keep the secrets for my family anymore. I don't want to be oppressed or suppressed by my family or my work anymore. I've got to move forward. I don't want to hide the lies of my ancestry anymore. I need to reveal what my great grandfather or my great grandmother really were or my father or my mother or some sort of um, secret, a family secret that might be coming out or that someone's been thinking about revealing, okay? Someone here also feels that they like being chained to their desk. They like working. They feel as though it's going to help them move forward. Find the balance, definitely. Someone might be chained to their business, but they feel as though it's helping them to progress. It's helping them to... Um, you know, put their mark out in the world. There's a commitment or a duty here, an obligation coming up. Maybe regarding psychic abilities, keeping a secret about some sort of new venture, a new entrepreneurial uh, endeavor. That's what I see. Okay. Well, there we go for the random daily. All right, this is what you guys are probably going to be going through on the 12th or whenever you come to this reading. If you're not going through it, someone else will be going through it. Now what we're going to do is we're going to see whose energy is lining up with this reading and we'll pull more cards. I've got my little deck in here. We're going to do a little bit of shuffling. See who we get. Who is this for? Taurus. Taurus the bull. This is for you, my dear bull. This is your reading. This is your reading for April of 2021. Let's see what other energies exist for you, Taurus. I am going to be pulling three cards from the Witch's Tarot. And then I will be pulling an energy oracle card for you, Taurus. And then I will be pulling a love card for you. And that will be your mini monthly for April of 2021. My beautiful members, you can take this reading as well as the big readings, the really like hour long readings that I do for you guys um, on my website. And for any of you interested in a bigger extended reading head on over to my website get a membership there I do my monthly readings for every two months because I'm constantly posting extended weeklies astro and tarot all right my beautiful bowls put your energy into the deck please thank you First card for my bowls is the King of Wands reversed. The second card is 
the four of swords reversed. And the third card is the king or the knight of pentacles reversed. Let's find out where this energy is coming from, my beautiful bulls. Now, this could be an internalization is what I'm picking up here. There's an internalization of am I good enough? Or how do I bring more value into my person in what I have to offer out into the world? Perhaps I need to reveal something to someone regarding an old betrayal or an old secret. Maybe having to do with an Aries, a Sag, or a Leo person that was in charge. I might be dealing with, and I'm speaking from the Taurus right now. I'm just going to speak as if I'm you, Taurus, because I'm, I'm channeling just a little bit differently than I normally do. I'm speaking from your perspective. I'm dealing with this King of Wands reverse, this masculine energy. And they're very selfish and they're very oppressive and suppressive. My concern here is what if people think that way about me? What if they think that I've been hiding things from them? What if they think that I have been pushing some betrayals and some uh, lies underneath the surface? I want to move on. I need to move on. But how is it that I can show someone value here without letting them know what the truth really is? How can I move forward with value in my life when I'm being a hypocrite with other people? For some others of you, I am dealing with this very selfish and maniacal masculine energy, possibly Aries, Sag, or Leo. And they're very oppressive and they're very, um, they're very erratic. And they want things done their way. And I'm tired of them. I, I've seen what they are. I've seen what they do. I, I, I want to reveal. I want to show others their lies, their secrets, what they've been doing, the third-party issues that have been happening. I see it all. I see how this person comes across as being this beautiful, loving, kind, you know, uh, progressive person. But on the inside, they have no value for themselves and they have no value for others. I feel, I, I feel as though I have to work 10 times harder to achieve my goals because the finances are tight or I'm losing my ground. I'm losing my, my finances. Because of some sort of transformation going on around me, that doesn't serve me and it doesn't serve anybody else. It makes everyone feel oppressed and suppressed. People are leaving work. People are leaving the workforce and nobody's replacing them. And everybody else is having to work twice, three, four, five, ten times as hard. I have this person in my life, this Pisces, this Aquarius, their name may start with the letters B or J, middle name or last name. What are they up to? What are they hiding? How is it that they know what's going on? I feel like they know something. That's what this feels like to me, Taurus. That's going to be your story in April. And... Because of you being devalued or someone else being devalued or the money being tight, you are deciding to look forward in a new way with new ideas and, and new manifestations.
you or someone around you might be working so hard that someone feels as though they're oppressed or suppressed and they just get worked like a horse. Taurus might be something about horses as well. Maybe Sagittarian people specifically. All right, Taurus, let's get into your energy oracle card. Energy oracle card for Tauruses. What have we got for the month of April of 2021? Tauruses, what do we have? Door to value. What did I say, Taurus? What did I say? Either you need to give value to someone for the work that they put into something or the effort that they put into something, or someone needs to put a, a little bit more value your way or throw a little bit more value your way. Money. Feeling valued, feeling loved, feeling as though I've been through this oppression, this suppression. I felt devalued, but now that I'm looking forward in a different way, using my intuition, I feel as though I can reclaim my power through reestablishing re value with myself and with others, putting more value into the home, into the family, into possessions, into real estate, into uh, a physical domicile, renovating a room, whatever this may be, realizing that something needs to happen here sooner than later, Taurus. Like needing to buy now instead of later. This is a 31 that breaks down to a four. The fourth house is ruled by cancer. So you might have cancerian energy going on somewhere around you. Money going uh, for a mortgage, a home, buying a new home, selling a home, whatever it is. This is coming up for you. Yep. All right, we're going to get into the love card here. For singles and couples, I'll do a, a interpretation of both. Across the waters, Taurus. Across the waters. This is a 23, breaks down to a 5. The 5 is the energy of change. The 5th house is ruled by Leo. Romance, children, creativity, risk-taking, pets. This might be buying a pet that likes water, a golden retriever, a fish, anything having to do with water. You might be in love with someone who is a water sign, a Pisces, a Cancer, or a Scorpio person. Or a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio person is in love with you. Taurus, this could be long distance relationship for some of you. Wanting to travel across the waters with your loved one. Taking a trip. This might be for work as well. Needing to travel across the waters for work. Wanting. Wanting. Okay, Taurus. Taurus, I for those of you that are not in a relationship but are interested in someone there's like a wanting either coming from you or coming from that other person and even if you're single there's like this desire this wanting this longing to have some sort of energy that you had before with someone maybe you had a relationship with someone that There were some minor disagreements on beliefs. 
But now you're looking at that person and you're thinking to yourself, they were a perfect match. They were a perfect match. Because I see a longing and a wanting to see this person again. And for those of you dating, single dating, you know, whatever, there is a trip coming up here. And there is, again, needing to have, needing to cross the waters or something about water within the relationship. Maybe you're telling your, sp your spouse, your girlfriend, your boyfriend, you need to drink more water. Okay, there might be something about flooding you're talking to your significant other about. Plumbing, all of that, water, water breaking, a secret pregnancy, perhaps not you, Taurus, it could be you, but likely somebody that you know, that's only going to be for a very small percentage of you. But for those of you in a loving and happy bond, this is that longing, even though you might be right next to one another, you feel like you're you're distant from one another. You don't feel the same type of love or the same type of emotional connection. You could be sitting in one chair. They could be sitting on the other chair in the same room and you feel like there's an ocean between you. But for others of you, you are physically distanced from your significant other, maybe overseas or over a river or a lake or something like that. And it is about change. It is about learning to have that one-on-one -on -one companionship, but also being able to communicate your needs and your wants to the other person. Okay? Okay. They're saying that's it. So just letting you know, Taurus, this is that type of energy you're likely to go through in April of 2021. Thank you so much for watching this video. I wish all of you the best. Much light, much love, and many blessings. Namaste.